Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, Robbie Rapole, here with another Rad Movement installment. Um, so lately I've been feeling very depleted. Um, so we decided to do some conventions uh, that were on the books uh, after finding out Donna was pregnant, which put a lot of more work on my plate. Um, and I just, I started to really, really, really not be able to anymore. Uh, I wasn't able to people. Um, not really able to like get my head unscrambled. Um, you know, it's 12 weeks in. Uh, we found out uh, what sex the baby is. I'm not telling you here because we're doing uh, a reveal online later um, but uh it's just wild right like just everything's been a lot you know it's it's you know I'm I'm doing the stuff around the house and doing the stuff at work and doing the stuff on the road and so I decided to cancel uh, well not cancel for everyone but I decided to step back for the next two conventions um, so some of the folks in the shop are going to go handle those. And that's cool. I like that. Uh, but man, oh man, am I feeling overwhelmed? Am I feeling depleted, drained? Um, just having a hard go at, like, getting my brain fully, you know, back in order, back in focus. Uh, we just got off the road last week from the Tampa convention, which wasn't far away from home. It was only a two hour drive, but it still took a lot out of me. Um, and so, you know, I've just been noticed, I've been just feeling depleted, just feeling drained, uh, just feeling like I can't even. And that's one of the things that I realized uh, I need to make adjustments around because I can't go around feeling this way. So hence, canceling the conventions, well, stepping back from the conventions, um, and, uh, trying to recalibrate my home schedule. Um, that's an interesting one, you know, just trying to get back to the gym and trying to get back to work and then trying to get back to time for the house and for Donna and for, you know, people that need me and just, uh, trying to get time to do my side projects where I'm creating, uh, um, actual like teaching modules and motivational content, um, coaching type content that you can buy pre-recorded. So I'm working on all of that. I've got a lot going on and I got a lot on my plate and I'm just, uh, like I said, feeling depleted. Um, and I notice I need to make a change and there's nothing wrong with that. And that's the thing, like, as I'm listing these so-called negatives, yeah, they're kind of negative, but at the same time, nah, it's just, it's just calibration measures. It's just knowing that, okay, you're not stoked in the exact presentation of the parts of your life. Uh, so maybe you should straighten that out. Maybe you should do something different. And so that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to re-coordinate, you know, just to organize my bits and bobs and uh, get my ducks back in a row. Uh, to a level of feeling at one, at peace, comfortable, um, and like I'm in a balanced, you know, smooth going situation, you know? So, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to kind of touch on that, you know, how it feels, it, it, you know, it feels draining, uh, that the depletion levels are real, um, but at the same time, life isn't bad, uh, and things are well. Um, you know, I'm, uh, I just started investing in cryptocurrency. So that's like another thing that like is in the back of my head over here. Um, so there's just a lot of little and big life things going on. And I have to remember that it's okay to take time for me. Like I make my gym time very important. I make that very Robbie centric. Um, oh, another thing, I realized uh, I checked my blood pressure yesterday at Walmart and my blood pressure is high and I don't like that shit. So now I'm like gonna start 
really motivating into getting my health in the state that I needed to be for my well-being and for my peace of mind. Um, because with a new baby on the way, you kind of worry about being a 40-year-old man and uh, being in decent health, good health, any type of fucking health. So, you know, I'm trying to get, get my shit back, back to where it once was and get myself, um, you know, back calibrated and, and solid. Uh, now, some of you might be like, yeah, you're a fucking lazy tramp. And some of you might be like, man, you're a real fucking champ. So, you know, I get it. Like, depending on how you're looking at it, there might be ways where I could have been doing more before. And there's ways that I'm probably doing a whole lot more than uh, my former self or even a lot of other people out there. So I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get it all together. You know, I'm trying to put it together. Um, trying to, uh, as as life shuffles and and quakes, you know, you try to readjust and recalibrate the pieces of the puzzle. Like I said, to put them back together. Um, and interestingly enough, I really thought I was gonna talk more about this subject, but it's really it's a pretty cut and dry subject. Not black and white, but pretty cut and dry. You know, like okay. Life feels weird, you feel depleted. What do you do? Oh, you do things that start to add to your feeling of uh, fullness, you know, rather than take away from that fullness. So, you know, wh whatever it is, do you, do you meditate more? Probably. Um, do you take more time for your health? Probably. Uh, do you stop focusing on wealth and uh, just worry about you? Probably. Um, doesn't mean stop worries, doesn't mean stop making wealth a thing, but you know, sometimes the focus needs to be more on self, you know, and the funny thing is when you focus on this, you know, the heart and the brain, it's funny how all the other things seem to unfold and come to you, um, being the, the wealth and the inner peace, um, and the beauty and the joy and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, guys. If you're feeling depleted, you're not alone. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you're not alone. And if you're feeling these things, the only thing you gotta do is just do some work, recalibrate, figure out what's going wrong, figure out what's weighing on you and work towards lifting that weight, shifting it, taking it off of you, and then having a more peaceful, uh, joyous, love-filled, happy life. So uh, that's all I got for you right now. I love you guys. Thank you always for tuning in. Like, sh like subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Um, and keep an eye out for all the cool shit I'm gonna be doing in the future because it's going to be beneficial. It's going to be life-changing uh, and it's going to be stuff you don't wanna miss. Much love from me to you. I'm Rad and so are you. Have a great fucking day.